Hello. I'm coming to you from an undisclosed location. Look kind of dark. Let me put some light on. I don't think that did anything, but okay. Uh, I want to talk about New York City's reopening. And Don Blasio did it again. I've been dealing with mayors in New York City since Koch. And um, that's how long I've been into politics. I was into politics before I could vote. Um, breaking down candidates, who's going to do what, and all that kind of stuff. So I was 14. <clears throat> and de Blasio is the dumbest, worst mayor we've ever had. Worse than Giuliani. Worse than Bloomberg. Worse than any of these people. I mean, the worst that I've ever known. I've never done a historical look at all the mayors of New York, but in my lifetime, this guy's the worst. Matter of fact, he's one of the worst, poli well, I can't say one of the worst politicians because today all the politicians are like him. Very empty, mindless, um, believes in what they believe in, and when they're faced with reality and facts, will just keep believing in what they believe in while everything around them collapses and burns. But hey, I still got this. Um, He's opening New York City back. He spent $21 million or $31 million, I believe $21 million, to try to encourage tourism to come to New York. Could he use that $21 million to build permanent housing, to get the homeless and the mentally ill, or build facilities to get the mentally ill off the street so that tourists can actually enjoy themselves when they come? You're just trying to get them to come. Um, he wants to pay to give tourists vaccines if they come and they're going to come here and people are sleeping all over the benches, all over the parks, all over the street, literally on the street. And yeah, I'm going to show you more video as the weeks go, what's happening in New York. Um, I covered it in my podcast, but someone told me, Tim, you got to put the pictures, you got to put the video, you got to put the pictures. And I'm telling you, it's hell on earth. And de Blasio knows it. Governor Cuomo knows it. Governor Cuomo will actually is, has actually said, you got to do something about the homeless. Yeah, we opening up the city. And his thing is, here's the plan of what they're doing. They're opening subways back up 24 hours. They were closing them down for cleaning. So now that cleaning ends. You think I'm not going to keep wearing my mask? Of course, New York has got to wear my mask. Subways are not going to be clean. People are living on them. De Blasio, De Blasio's uh, solution to that is put more cops in the subway. Now, first of all, De Blasio, New York City has the largest subway system in the world. You don't have enough police to secure it. But you can put a thousand more police. Okay. And if the police are on a train, one train... <clears throat> what you going to do with the rest of the system? If they're in one platform, what are you going to do with the rest of the system? So, and not only that, if you have police, the way that our subway system is, if I have police walking the platform, if you're on one end of the platform, <clears throat> the platform is like th two, three blocks some of these platforms. Somebody could still do something at the other end of the platform and run out of the subway system. So policing, spending extra money for overtime for police, again, mentally ill facilities, beds, <clears throat> you could use that money on that and create some low-income housing because that's all you're going to have is low-income service industry things. I walked around um, <clears throat> trying to find a package of socks. I had to walk 20 blocks. There's no stores. There's no department stores. In New York, we used to have these department stores. Some people call them junk stores. Some people call them, um, they're not really 99 cent stores. Where you, you get t shirts. Sometimes you get irregular clothes, socks, t shirts, t shirts for $1.99, uh, six pairs of socks for $3, things like that. 
Um, I finally found the TJ Maxx where I was able to get something. But all we got is restaurants, 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 diners, delis, restaurants, diners, delis, restaurants, 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 pizza shops, pizza shops. There's a span in downtown Brooklyn where there's six pizza shops in a one block radius. Three of them sell 99 cent pizza. I mean, so this is what the city is. This is what you're going to build your economy on? Restaurants? And who's going to work here? you saying people are going to get back to work? Work where? Um, that's another thing you don't understand, Dumb Blasio. A lot of these businesses are not coming back. And what are you going to do in the hood? And you legalize the marijuana. So what are you going to do? What are the hood people going to do? Because we're going to have to feed ourselves. Because you didn't create any low-income housing, so we got to make money. Serious money. Okay? To get affordable housing, what they call affordable housing in New York City, you have to be making 30, 30, 000, 31 to 36 to 35K, somewhere in it. I have a credit score of 680. That's what Dun Blasio has created. He calls that affordable. Affordable for who? You you a service worker? You make thirty something thousand? I don't think so. So Dun Blasio has created and turned New York City into a hell on earth, and um, it's not promising because the next field of people coming in have no idea. I'm looking at this, some of their campaigns, some of their ideas. Terrible. Terrible. Because they th they believe like de Blasio believes. They believe in a social organization and structure that is not based in reality. Never was. It was maintained because we all pretended and went along with the fantasy. People are done with that. What are you going to do, de, de Blasio? I mean, Andrew Yang, the only reason why I would say he has a little bit better um, message is because he wants to give again direct monies to people so just imagine if you in New York City you get you you're homeless and you get thrown out of your apartment whatever because again rent moratoriums are back up rent the, the ban on rent evictions are, are going to be um, are going are, are going to uh, expire so that a lot of people will be getting put out of their homes if Yang gives them the money, maybe they can stay. Maybe they can rent another place. Maybe they can stay with relatives and put their money together. That That's a little bit of a lifeline, depending on how much he gives. Maybe you can rent a storage unit and at least keep your stuff in it so that you have some kind of decency and humanity. Um, and then maybe join a gym so that you could take showers, and then, but at least you have some resources coming in. <sighs> but with um, Don Blasio and his ilk, Sean Donovan's and the Eric Adams, they're not going to give you any. If Eric Adams wins, forget about it. And um, people are going to act up and magnify everything he does a hundredfold. And he doesn't have the strength or power. He may be as bright as Don Blasio. So, um, he wants to bring back stop and frisk. He's a black former police officer who created, was the president of the black police officers union because the white cops are so racist. The black cops had to have their own union and he did that. And even though he had to acknowledge that these people are so racist, black officers even have to have our own union. He's going to sick those races back on black communities to do stop and frisk. So he's dumber than de Blasio. At least de Blasio said, no, you have to cut that back. You have to scale that back. What, what's wrong with these people? What is what is going on? Can't understand it. Anyway, I'll keep um, making videos as long as I can. And um, I'll keep you. <laughs> wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. Until next time, take care of yourselves, um, take care of each other, and be safe.